All right, here I've got um, WinZip open, and I'm going to extract the WinMac Tintron file just as an example. Click on Extract, select uh, Desktop is where I'm going to save it. Extract. Now you'll see the uh, the folder right here on my desktop. I'll open it up. click the setup exec within that. Pops up a little window saying it's preparing to install and then you see nothing more of it. And eventually a little window pops up here that says installation is complete and I close to exit and now I'm finished uh, installing the program. What I need to do next is implement it in the control panel. Click down here on my start button, find the control panel, Language settings in Windows XP, they're right here. Open them. After you've installed the uh, keyboard and gone to the control panel and opened the regional and language options, there's a number of different ways you can configure this. You go to the languages tab, not the regional options, but the languages tab, and then click on the details button. Now, by default, uh, when the uh, Clinchon keyboard installed, it added the English Canada keyboard and installed Clinchon as the only keyboard layout under that. With that implementation in place, if you look at the language bar down here, it gives me two choices, English United States or English Canada. I can use either one, but if I'm using English United States, then I'm using the US keyboard layout here as the only keyboard under English United States. If I select English Canada, all it tells me is that this is the English Canada keyboard. It doesn't tell me that it's actually the Clinchon layout here, which is the only one installed under English Canada. So, what I prefer to do, and you're st you do this on the um, under languages on the details button, I prefer to remove that from English Canada since that's the only layout, the English Canada. Uh, keyboard, the input language disappears and leaves only US English. Now we're going to select that and we're going to add uh, another keyboard layout to it. That's the second tab here. And we're going to get the keyboard, Clincho WinMac. Um, you can see I had previously installed the Language Geek keyboard, so that's still in there as well, but I want the WinMac layout. Select that. That's in here now under the US English input language. Click OK and now I have two in here. When I apply that with both keyboards installed under the United States English input, now when I click on the language bar you can see the little keyboard icon there shows there are multiple uh, keyboard layouts installed underneath that. I can now see whether I'm using Clinchon or whether I'm using English. I can switch back and forth between the US English, which is this layout, or the Clinchon, which is this layout. And it shows me right from my language bar which one I'm using. So I like this a lot better.